one of the worst problems that I always end up having is, especially under here, is lighting. I always end up having the worst problem with lighting. Uh, so I just went and hunted down the biggest light that I could find on the property. And it's definitely not perfect. And it needs some adjusting. Let's see. Much better. Got the nice seat. And hopefully most of the tools that I will need to complete this task. Now I don't have the parts or anything like that in yet, but I do want to just kind of go through and figure out what I need that I don't know I need. Um, just to get this part taken care of. Pretty sure there's only one bolt holding the seat on right now. I just kind of threw it in there and I haven't really rode this thing. I haven't rode it. And that's one of the problems is I start like trying to rationalize trying to start it whenever I just need to leave it alone to the point or just to where I can get it fixed and if I keep trying to say oh well it's not that bad you know I can I can go ahead and start it or whatever I'm just afraid of doing too much damage to it or messing something up that I would make this repair a lot more expensive. Um, so far it's just rings and a water seal um, for the other side for the water pump and some reeds which the, it's a little bit more expensive because I want V-Force reeds as most of you will know about this bike um, it's not exactly um, supposed to be a huge power I mean it's supposed to be powerful um, to 200 so I mean it's got a lot of power but it's not good at like being super fast I guess it's not like a very sporty kind of powerful uh, so I want to help it out a little bit get some of that power uh, I gotta take this bolt right here out that's the 
the only bolt holding the tank on. I don't know, I'd say that it got rattled off. But it hasn't been here since the time since I've had the bike, so. Snug it down just a little bit. Undo the hose from there. Get that out of the way. Ew. That's turned off. One thing that I didn't bring is a pair of pliers. There we go. No, 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 no. There is still fuel in that. Alrighty. So now, comes the little tool bits. Okay, now this one, which is going to be weird to get to. Now I'm not going to take 
the carburetor apart. Just get it off. Almost caught it. Well, will you slide on? Okay, well. That should be out of the way enough. So I guess now would be a good time to start rinsing, rent, getting rid of the, the fluids and, and stuff. So, will this fit? Oh yeah. Ouch. Um, my goal, and it looks like I might not, but I'm going to try, is to get this take these off and this take the, the head off of it and hopefully once I get all the things disconnected from the cylinder the jug of it slide it straight up but I don't know if I can get it over top of these before I start hitting this stuff. And if I do, then all I think I have to do is take out this motor mount and that motor mount. Which I, that's not even, I don't even have a motor mount in it. Which I, not the best thing, but. Well, like I said, this thing had quite a bit of stuff done to it before I got a hold of it, so. That was not me. But yeah, my goal is to just get fluids out. Um, which I'm gonna need this over there. And this. I wonder if I can <sighs> Hmm I'm really doubting I can do this Let's see. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Your boy's strong. <laughs> okay, get that down. If these, if your screws or bolts are not going to be in the way. Do yourself a favor and just put them back. That's probably why most of these parts on my bike are that aren't on it. That's probably the reason why. But especially if stuff is going to sit for a while. You really want to I might oh, 
Well, that's not good. I might go ahead and kind of stick a torch in that and let it cook itself off. Put the screws back. Okay, that'll do for that. Thirteen. No. Do I even have one smaller? I'm pretty sure I've seen a 12 somewhere. Stupid spiders. <clears throat> okay, so. After I uh, pretty much sat around, well, not sat around, but looked around for this thing and was just pretty sure that I had no idea or didn't have one, I had a 12 millimeter sitting at my feet right here in this pile. I didn't think I had one. I'm going to go ahead and take these and put them right there because I don't know what size the oil thread is for that uh, bottom bolt to get the oil out and the transmission fluid. take this is going to be a, a 13 back in there. Okay. Now I gotta figure out what size. This is.
beer back. Is not good. There's some nasty stuff right there. That's what antifreeze in your oil looks like. Okay, so I went back and I've pretty much edited all of the part one for the the KDX tear down and make an outro for it so this is going to be the outro for the video um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this this is a longer video but whenever you have a build series or like a tear down um, the details are kind of an important part I hope that the guys that actually want to see this um, this build happen and see like the details and how it's t tore down and uh, all the stuff that I went through. I feel like that there's going to be quite a few people that really won't care as much um, versus the few that don't like to watch long videos. This isn't going to be like a wreck bike rebuild or anything like that like Yummy or, or Chase is doing or pretty much I guess. Um, Jake the Garden Snake's doing it too with the whole like um, budget bike kind of thing but this is just simply my bike needs to be uh, worked on you'll see later on in part two exactly what I find out after I get the motor off so if you want to see that stay tuned that'll probably be um, maybe in a week maybe not I just I don't know. I've got a few airsoft videos that I need to edit up. I might throw them in as filler to, you know, we're not really filler, just content until um, <clears throat> I put the part two because I kind of got to, I got to span it out uh, over a while because the parts, I won't be able to get the parts until probably sometime near the beginning of um, like the first quarter of September. I start work September 4th, I think, I hope. So, I mean, time will tell. We'll see. Um, so, I guess I will catch you guys in the next one. I hope you pre I hope you enjoyed what you just seen. Um, that oil was pretty gross, wasn't it? Um, but on that, I'm gonna end this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.